Hello, I am so excited today because I am here with one of my favorite people on the planet, and that is Crystal Telefero. She is, uh, she and I have been friends, I don't know, 13 years, 14 years, something ever. I've known you ever since, uh, I think you were with, out there with Bruce Springsteen. And uh, every once in a while you'd pop by the studio, sometimes record a little bit. Yeah. But then this last year, you decided to take our program at Dark Horse Institute. I started out with uh, John Mellencamp, okay. And then from there I went to Bob Seger, then Joe Cocker, then Billy Joel, and then Julian Lennon, and then Bruce Springsteen, and then Billy Joel again, and, and then uh, Michael McDonald. And, and if I may interrupt for a second, <laughs> Garth you Brooks, play, you Faith play, <laughs> you, you are the ultimate side person because you play saxophone, bass, you're an incredible singer and a percussionist. Yes. And what did I miss? Um, and acoustic guitar sometimes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I didn't even think I was going to be in this industry as a, a performing, touring musician at all. I was just doing it because it was fun and uh, I loved to play and perform and it just turned and evolved into something bigger. And so I just stuck with it. A couple of months ago, I watched a Billy Joel special uh-huh. from Shea Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> and this was at a time that you were taking our class. Yeah. And I'm sitting there watching this, and they have this whole segment where Paul McCartney comes in, and he's rushed in, and they fly the plane in. Just you know, in time. Just in time, and all this kind of stuff. And then there you were on stage with all that. It was so funny because it's like, okay, some people are going, oh, God, you're going to be on, on television with uh, all these great people. And I'm thinking... What am I missing from the class that I have makeup for on my test <laughs> back at Dark Horse? Well, so that's probably the question everybody's asking about yeah. now is, okay, so yeah. this woman who has done the largest scale gigs known to man right. all of a sudden wants to take an audio engineering class. And so, uh, you know, yes. tell, tell us about that. I have this terrific gear that I, that I had that uh, I had put in my, my home and, and, I was, and I used it as far as I could take it. So I was sitting there and said, what am I going to do about it? I wonder, wonder if there's a place or a program that can allow a person like me to come in and, and take a course uh, and be able to be flexible with my right, schedule. Right. I'm actually going to have the opportunity to go to school. That was the first step. That's right. The second step was, can I actually pull it off? You know what I mean? Can I actually go back to school, stop working, so to speak? Yep. And okay. except for a couple of these major dates that you yeah. did, yeah. you were here every day. Had to. And I mean, a lot of people have multi-million dollar home studios. And yeah. so you've got you've got enough gear to record albums and I'm stuff. I'm doing so, good, yeah. So tell me what you're up to. Well, I'm doing it. I just finished a, a project, an 18-song project that we recorded right here on this beautiful console. Yeah. It was an awesome session. Um, I put together this company called Rotted Out Productions, which is an all-female um, engineering uh, program that... They were colleagues and friends of mine from the Institute here. <laughs> thinking about people that might be watching this video mm-hmm. that are thinking about uh, not only going to school, but just how am I going to position myself in the industry? Well, well here's I- the thing. I, one thing that I can say, you can never have too much education. And, and here's another thing, too. Don't just get the education. Apply it. My whole philosophy about uh, being blessed is that you have to be able to share and you have to be able to give back uh, first. Now, do you envision yourself being more of an engineer or a producer or a combination of the two? I came here to be a better producer. You're going to be kind of in our Hall of Fame, so to speak. <laughs> and so I'm so excited that you uh, that you came by here to say hi. Yeah. And have this conversation. Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you around the halls of Dark Horse. Me too. You will be. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. All right. See you.